what is up everyone on youtube this is spark and in today's video i'm going to be showing you the simplest way to add a ragdoll system to your game to give you guys an example i will be using the combat system from my previous few videos i did update the code a little bit on the server side like i added this variable here and a bit more code over here the reason for this is that the stun timer wasn't working as intended and the weights kept overlapping this was also pointed out in the comment section from my previous video so i made sure to fix it in this one anyways for the ragdoll system the first thing you're going to want to do is open the first link provided in the description and it will take you to this page we're going to be using emilio's ragdoll module it works for both r15 and r6 so first we're going to click the highlighted text and install this module click open in studio once you click open in studio it will open a new place and you should see this toolbox pop up on your screen just click insert it will insert a folder into your workspace which contains everything you're going to need for this to work so select all three and copy them go into your original game place click on replicated storage click paste now you should have a client script a remote event and a module script in your replicated storage you can create another folder in replicated storage and store these in there too but then you're gonna need to tweak the code in this module script a bit you're gonna have to add the path for this remote event over here but since i'm keeping these in replicated storage i'm not gonna be messing with this at all now what you're gonna do is go to the server script for your combat system in the server script you're gonna need to add a variable and require this module script so let's do that Once that's done, we're just going to add one more statement to implement the ragdoll. So let's test it out. As you can see, the ragdoll worked perfectly. Now, one thing you might have noticed is that over here, I used NPC ragdoll instead of the normal ragdoll over here. That's because this is just a model. It does not have a player, so can say that it's an NPC. If I use the normal ragdoll over here, that's probably going to give me an error. As for the function itself, it needs two arguments. The first one is the character model, and the second one is the time for which the ragdoll stays intact. Now that that's done, let's show you guys how we can use all the other functions that come with this ragdoll module. So first, we're going to ragdoll our own character. As you can see, it works. Now let's revert it back to normal after two seconds. Okay, so once two seconds pass, it ran this and my character was back to normal. Now let's try the final function that comes with this module and that's the time drag doll. So let's pass in our model and two seconds. Okay, that works too. So as you can see, this module is very easy to use. A big thanks to Emilio for making this module, but that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.